Welcome everybody to this uh, round table that uh, DME and DME Media School has organized uh, at the behest of uh, GMAC that is Global Media Education Council and if I can tell you initially as to what this council is, this is the first homegrown council of media educators and researchers and professionals in India. And it's a very broad based organization of media educators in the sense that there are people, media educators and researchers uh, representing uh, in this organization from all across the country. And not only that, that since it's a global council, there are representatives uh, in almost uh, all parts of the globe. So, and we keep on organizing a number of academic activities uh, which are directly related to media industry and media profession and the first initiative that has been taken by GMAC is uh, organizing the Global Communication Education Conclave which is running in 75 episodes and uh, almost uh, every other day in the evening there is a session uh, which lasts for uh, two, two and a half hours and there are people again uh, from uh, industry also, there are corporate speakers, there are keynote speakers who are uh, basically from uh, different uh, parts uh, of the con or different continents. So this is one major thing uh, that is happening in GMAC uh, and already yesterday there was 62nd episode that happened. So we are very close to finishing at 75 and then there are other research related activities also which are being initiated. Some model curriculum is also being made and if I can tell you from the student's perspective, we are also organizing from GMAC a career fair wherein we will be helping the media students irrespective uh, where some, some student is studying. We will be providing all help uh, as far as getting job in the media industry is concerned. And uh, I am the vice president of that council and I am happy that the secretary of global media education council, Professor Ujjol K. Chaudhary is with us today. So I welcome him uh, in this uh, session in uh, DME. And this was uh, his idea, his initiative that we should hold uh, the round tables uh, in different uh, institutions and since uh, he was here in Delhi, so he agreed to come to DME and uh, be part of this uh, round table and uh, initiate discussion uh, because uh, this uh, this topic is the most pertinent thing to discuss uh, wherein the media students interests are involved. We all know what has happened during the last uh, two years. And uh, despite those ups and downs, uh, we are here today, then almost we can say that we have come out from the COVID, but then the impact of COVID is, is still to be seen. And it has um, impacted every walk of life, it has impacted every sector, every profession. So the same way the media education is uh, also affected, the media industry is also affected. And uh, when I say that its it impact is there, this means uh, uh, lot of jobs had gone during these two years but then the important thing is new jobs have come up. So we need to understand as to what kind of jobs are no more uh, or will not uh, no more be available to, to the, the freshers who are joining the industry and what new things will be coming up and this is happening all across the media platforms right from print, radio, television and digital. So Professor Chaudhary has an expertise particularly in this area because he is a keen watcher uh, as far as the major development in the media industry is concerned. Concerned. And uh, so he can tell you all about uh, this and all. And uh, since if I further can uh, tell you and apprise you uh, about the profile of Professor Chaudhary, at the moment he is a strategic advisor and professor in Daffodil International University in Dhaka. So most of the time he remains in Dhaka and for a few days in every month he is in India. And before that he has been uh, in different in institutions, all top institutions of the country. He has been de dean in Symbiosis uh, uh, University, Symbiosis Institute in Pune. Uh, he has been the pro vice chancellor of Adamas University, Kolkata. And uh, he has also been dean in MIT University. He has also been dean in Pearl, uh, Pearl Academy 
had me. So there's a very, very long list. So without going further into those details about his achievements and profile, I wish that we straight come to the topic on which we have assembled to discuss, that is the careers in media in the post-COVID scenario. So I will request Professor Chaudhary uh, to please uh, take the things forward. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Saxena. And it's interesting to meet an institute which has made records during the pandemic period of organizing events without any break online, while many other institutions were even searching what to do, very un unclear about what to do. You all have uh, done film festivals online. You have done international conferences online. You, have, you are also doing motivational chain of season, uh, series, vibrant chain of series. yes, vibrant India series due because of the 75th, due to the 75th year of independence, which also inspires us to do the 75 years, 75 events of uh, Global Media Education Council, which is titled as Global Communication Education Conclave, sir has already mentioned. Coming to today's theme, he, is, he has asked me to talk about how has uh, media been affected by COVID. Just the figures of people infected by media or dying is not just the proof of COVID. The proof of COVID is beyond health. It's more about economy now. It's more about our professions now. But before that, before entering into the topic, one po point I would like to note. Often, we are so much enamored by backgrounds of people, even in our lives, even as students. I come from so-and-so family. This is my background. My family has this, so, this much of wealth or the, uh, important position in the bureaucracy my father has. For us, we, uh, we regale in our past positions and degrees and all that. We must understand it's not the amount of baggage that you bring in when you come in. Baggage has brought you here, your marks in HS, your family background, your education, that has brought you here. What is important? So it's not the amount of baggage that you bring in when you come in. What footprints you leave when you walk out is all that matters. So his background has brought him as the dean here. My background has brought him to wherever I am. Now the point is, what does he do as the dean? Is he visionary enough to set standards which will be tough for others to even reach? Am I reinventing myself and doing things? Now, in the same way, are you reinventing yourself during pandemic, post pandemic and going ahead? There were some jobs which were the key jobs of the media sector, being an anchor in NDTV, being a reporter in Times of India, working for Ogilvy and Mather. Not that those good jobs have all gone out, not that, but that's not going to be the sine qua non of careers ahead. I just wanted to tell that at the, at the beginning. So what is the sign quanon? What do you do now is all that we'll discuss. So when we say media, that's the other problem. Everyone immediately starts thinking of, so in 1990, if this sort of group was sitting and talking about media, the first thing they would have thought is newspaper. The first thing, jobs in newspaper, my name in the print, all that. Now when we say media, the first thing you are thinking is television, the face there, that I'm uh, you know, giving a PTC or I'm writing for it. The first thing you're thinking is television. And the times that will come now when you pass out, the first thing, it's already started. The first thing people will think when you say about media is digital, internet. It's not television, it's not radio, it's not print. Doesn't mean they've gone away. It was a print-led media world in the 20th century, late part of 20th century. It has been a television-led media world since the 20th century, since 2001. It's now becoming internet-led media world. That's a very big difference, and we'll talk about it as we go. So five types of media. Online, which is now the face. Online includes social media. Online includes internet. Online includes online. Anything cyber, virtual, whatever you call. Digital, whatever. Then offline. It includes newspapers, it includes magazines, it includes holdings, anything like that. Then on air, radio, television. Then on ground, events, a talk show like this, 
anything on ground, road shows, all those experiential marketing and all that. And lastly, on mobile, all of these you can get now here. You can get the newspaper as e-paper, you can get the television, provided you have the bandwidth, you can even watch television and many of you are already watching OTT here only. And then you can get any form of advertisement and PR and corporate communication campaign on your mobile. You can get radio on your mobile. So that becomes the next platform. So what is media? It's a platform among people for those who con create content and those who consume to reach. The another change that is happening now, those who consume are also the creators. So user generated content. You are user, you are generating content or if you are a producer, your consumer is the user, your viewer, listener is the user, they are also generating content. That is why the power of social media. So people do not quote from a press conference of Narendra Modi anymore. He has not done a press conference in 8 years uh, till date. So people quote from his monkey bath on radio and people quote from his tweets which come on the Twitter. So that is the big difference that is happening. The internet based or social media is becoming at the top. And that will be more and more as we go, I will take up uh, depending on what sir asks, how in journalism the changes have happened and what does it mean for your job. How in television the changes have happened, what does it mean for your job. How in advertising the changes happen, what does it mean for your job. We will go point by point. But I would like to end here by telling, please do not think media as newspaper or television only, because media is multimedia. It is seamless now. You are not working, even if you are working for a TV channel, let us say NDTV or India Today, you will also be looking at their portal, you will also be working for their portal. Suppose you go for a story, the story is happening in parliament, let us say, or outside anywhere, in Vigyan Bhavan, some event. When the top guy is speaking, you are tweeting the summary of the talk immediately, that is your first report, 256 characters report, 256 characters you know, Twitter tweets, that is the first report. The second report is three or four or five sentences paragraph that you send which is now put on the portal as an announcement. The second report, then you actually the event has just ended, you come out and give a voice, this is audio report, third report. Then you write the story on your laptop and email, fourth report, a detailed story. Fifth report, photographs that you have sent or your colleague has sent. Sixth report, the video that has been sent. The first visual, if it is very important thing, first visual which has been announced. Seventh report, when it is edited and made into a full story in television. N uh, ninth report, when you are also participating in the studio as a reporter or from the venue talking to the studio. Ninth report. Tenth report, when you are analyzing the whole thing that has happened next day and writing for the next week. Tenth report, from a 256 characters first story to a 1200 words or 1500 words detail analysis, you have traveled through 10 stories across online, offline, on air, on ground, all the media and on mobile, all your stories are there on the mobile. So you need to now equip yourself for multimedia career, not TV career, not only internet career and not newspaper career, a multimedia career. We in journal, journalism, we in academics we have fascination for jargon. So people like us has given a name to this jargon and that is convergence, media convergence. It is multimedia, basically it is multimedia. Same thing in different format, different style, different structure, different length, sometimes audio, sometimes video, sometimes both, sometimes uh, picture, sometimes text, sometimes a mix of all of this. This is a big difference that has happened. This must be clarified at the very beginning when we start the discussion, sir. Uh, you talked about convergence, but uh, along with this, can we also uh, talk about the social media aspect? Uh, because uh, social media is playing a very dominant role, even if you are working, I mean somebody is working in the mainstream media. The job might be to follow the social media accounts and make a story out of that. So can you throw some light on right. social media? So earlier when we said all media, we said 360 degree. 360 degree. Newspaper, television, radio, internet. Whenever we bring something on all the all of these, it's 360 degree. Now there's a new concept called 720 degree. So this 360 degree is there. 
newspaper, radio, television, internet that means portal and all that. There is another 360 degree. This 360 just think in your life as a consumer. You are also a producer or becoming producer in future. But as a consumer think this 360 degree you everyone is consuming as a consumer. But in your life you see this 360 degrees influence is reducing. In your parents or grandparents life this 360 still may be important. But in your life it is reducing. There is another 360 that has come up. A uh, uh, vertical 360, the horizontal 360, a vertical 360. That vertical 360 is your WhatsApp. So, you believe in a lot of things that is given in WhatsApp even if they are crap. And there is a new concept that has come WhatsApp University, which is 90 percent crap. Then there is social media, which are more personal than actual than factual. So, social media in that if you are telling stories with photographs is Facebook. If you are telling only the stories through visuals it is Instagram. If you are telling a little formally to your future employers then it is LinkedIn. If you are only telling a video story then it is YouTube. If you are only throwing off or showing off your dress or your looks then it is Pinterest. So, gradually or you just want to keep in touch with people and pass, term, pass some time the Snapchat. So, you have different formats and you want to argue with people you are very political social and you keep you know earlier used to fight face to face jagra. Now, you want to do the jagra digitally there is Twitter then is Twitter and you are very facing very you are very lonely do not want to do all of this then there is the Tinder. <laughs> so, you have you have all the various social media platforms to actually create your belief system your faith your uh, knowledge your all this unfortunately fortunately I do not want to get into value judgment this social media is impacting you much more and this is creating a virality earlier virality was what tell something to your mummy mummy will add it add a namak, namak mirchat and tell to his nanad the nanad will tell his neighbor and by the time it comes back to you you told this much it will come back like this <laughs> so that was virality now that virality is digital virality you tell something forward it to group it goes to 20 other groups if there are very exciting pictures with it even more and it becomes viral so virality is another part of this medium uh, uh, communication today. It may not be medium as a, it is a communication. So, 360 degree is this print, television, radio, newspapers, magazines and also formal internet that is websites and all. Another 360 is whatsapp, social media going viral, things going viral and all that. And this is becoming unfortunately and large part of this is full of fake also. So, la this is becoming sometimes very very powerful. So, the role of social media hence even for a journalist the person has to take note of what is being discussed online. That is why may, there are many people who have never given an interview. I mean I have given the example for 8 years the largest democracy's prime minister has not given an interview. But then every day something of his is there in the newspaper right. So, that comes from his public utterances meetings and uh, public meetings or from monkey bath or from twitter it comes from there. So, the impact for a journalist then it is the source Amitabh Bachchan has not given an interview in last 7 8 years 6 7 years, but his tweets are the source of in, uh, news about him whatever he is doing on screen as an actor that is one and the tweets that is becoming the source of content. So, as a journalist you have to follow the tweets of the top 100 celebrities of the country as an entertainment journalist you have to follow what is Anushka to tweeting what is uh, I mean uh, are Ali and Ranbir marrying no not marrying ok marrying ok date change ok uh, guest change ok there is a quarrel. So, you are following that right you are following that and, and, and this hence is a source of communication source of information that is the role the social media is playing in times to come. So, think of 720 degree communication in future and as a content producer you have to be alert that this is this you need for authenticity and salary this you need for virality popularity and source of information this one is the vertical one this one is the horizontal one. Uh, one major problem which I believe anybody whichever media somebody will be joining 
uh, in the industry. Uh, the, the problem of the fake content uh, and uh, uh, if somebody is working as a journalist uh, and uh, there are some contents to be generated, some something is to be collected and all. The problem is that if you are not careful that uh, you might be landing up in promoting or writing on any such thing which are not at all true. So how the students can save themselves from this kind of problem? Very good important issue. Whether you are in journalism or in entertainment communication or in brand communication. I hope you know there are three types of media jobs or media careers. One is news media related. TV, radio, important, no platform. Hai. But one is news media, irrespective of the platform. The other is entertainment media, web, web entertainment, music, television, uh, films, uh, whatever. Then there is a brand media or com brand communication, which is advertising, public relations, even management. So brand and communication together. So these three are the broad blocks of jobs, blocks of careers. You have to think of one. You have to know all the three basically, but you have to specialize in one, then further specialize. Okay, that's another point. His question is, how is false content making an impact? Fake news is a wrong word. Fake, if it is, it cannot be news. News by definition is something that has happened. So fake cannot be news. And if news it is, then it cannot be fake. It's like that. So fake news is a wrong concept, false content. But unfortunately, it is served to you as news. It's placed before you as news. Sometimes it is not harmful. Like UNESCO votes Indian national anthem as the best national anthem of the world. You have heard this, I'm sure, on the WhatsApp. You have not seen it on television and newspaper. You only got it on WhatsApp. UNO votes Indian Prime Minister is the best Prime Minister in the world. You have heard this, I'm sure. These are harmless fake content. Why you like it? Because you love your country. So you are happy that your Prime Minister is the best Prime Minister, your anthem is the best anthem. And then what do you do? 200 groups ko bheshte rehte. Subha se saam tak. Dekh hamara aisa hai. Very good. This is misinformation. Not harmful misinformation. The second one is disinformation. Someone creates something to harm someone. Not like life harm, small harms. Business gira dega, dena. Kisi company ke baare mein likhna. Kisi lady ke character ke baare mein likhna. Kisi, you know, uh, some organization, some, something false. See, 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 this one, this employee of that organization is telling like this. Just to create a bad reputation. And they send and you don't like that organization and you have got something negative so you'll forward it to others because you don't like the organization so that is your second area and the second area is called disinformation it is not good it's, uh, it's harmful but not very harmful small ups the third one hota hai na someone becoming popular uske bare mein kuch negative spread kar do aajkal to very common hai so that's your disinformation the third one is very dangerous malinformation spread something so that others get excited, go and beat up that person and kill the person. What you know as lynching. Lynching up the kagaj mein dekha hai, TV mein shayad dekhne suru kiya, social media bhi dekhne suru kiya, nazar ke saamne dekho ta ek baar. Ek aadmi bol raha hai, mein chori nahi kya hoon, aur pachas aadmi usko maar raha hai. Soch ke dekho ta. And that could be anyone. Sometimes we are not bothered because the person being beaten is a Muslim. But that the second time it could be when the person it is being beaten is because he sees a woman. And her desire, she has worn a certain type of dress which others don't like. That doesn't give the right to, uh, of the others to beat, beat that lady. But that has also happened. In Guwahati that has happened. A woman coming out, out of a, a night club, uh, I mean with friends she was. And uh, she had some skimpy dress. 24 guys were beating her together. So that has happened. So you think first time nothing happens to you because you are a Hindu and the, and the person beaten is Muslim. Tomorrow you are a woman. That time it's not Hindu Muslim. Then it's a man and a woman. Then third time, someone sports a big moustache and goes. Someone is going to marry sitting on a horse. These two persons are taken up, beaten up and killed. One is Rajasthan, the moustache guy and the other one is Gujarat. What is their crime? They are born Dalits. And they are wearing moustache in front of the Thakurs, who are only supposed to wear the moustache this way. And they are riding on a horse in front of Thakurs, who are only supposed to go to marriage on a horse, not a poor Dalit. 
चमार का बेटा घोड़े पे हो शादी करने जा रहे हो सो दैट चमार का बेटा यस्टरडे वॉज अ हिंदू वॉज हैप्पी दैट द मुस्लिम वॉज बिटन नाउ ही इज बिटन नॉट जस्ट बिटन इज किल्ड चेक द स्टोरीज आई एम टॉकिंग फैक्ट्स वन इज गुजरात द अदर इज राजस्थान द पॉइंट इज दिस इज डिस इंफॉर्मेशन देन एंड दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स गो वायरल वेरी फास्ट दे वे टू टू गाइज हु आर बिटन अप आई मीन टू गाइज इन सेफ्रन ड्रेस दे वर थॉट एज थीव्स विच दे वर नॉट एंड बिटन अप इन पालघर एंड किल्ड रिसेंटली देर वर टू गाइज हु वेंट एज यू नो फॉर रिसर्च दे वेंट टू रूरल पार्ट ऑफ आसाम and those two guys were beaten con- uh, under the plea that they have come to take away kids you know there are many women who are beaten because they are considered to be witches in the villages and all pehle kya hota tha pehle 10 12 ghar ke log aapas mein by mouth viral karke aake peette the ab kuch nahi hai ab ek kuch viral message banao ek photograph kuch dalo aur usko group mein dal do whatsapp mein dal do this is what is wrong yeah but then uh, if if somebody is like these uh, students will be joining weather journalism or even in other streams maybe advertising maybe public relations but then one important thing which i think uh, must be acquired by everyone that you have to be one obviously you have to have that basic knowledge basic understanding of the profession where you are going and also the the, the sensitivity level as professor choudhry talked about and also the basic wisdom with which you can sense yeah. whether some content is fake or it's believable yeah. because as a communicator as a mass communicator your basic job will be to take that message forward so if you're not sure so you you need to 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 doubt the veracity of the information you have to check and cross check before is spreading it further because this is a very interesting case which happened uh, yesterday uh, i am in a group where in the all top uh, educators are there uh, so one one uh, photo was uh, released it uh, is a i can i mean show there is a nivea ad right yeah, perhaps you would have seen it and then uh, i saw this then i informed that uh, it appears fake and people were debating on that and then i cross check and found it's fake and i informed them the 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 source the the proof also that it's fake even then people were debating so you have to have that an eye wherein you can make out that this is an information which is fake which is to be rejected and which is not to be taken forward so i will add here one small thing there are certain trainings now being done by facebook by google fact shala for example by google similarly facebook is also doing yeah it. we also organize certain sessions great, great so you must attend these sessions not for marks not for general knowledge but for getting a weapon to stop fake uh, culture so and tomorrow this understanding and this use of false content can be only stopped if communicators of tomorrow understand what is fake by looking at dress you will know it is being told about uttar pradesh but this is afghanistan by looking at the dress you can tell by looking at the shop names by looking at the language they speak there the uh, for example there was one video which was considered to be uh, a communal video from tripura but the way the language was spoken and the dress was there and reference of places in the language was there it was actually from bangladesh it was actually from bangladesh so there were many such examples that this have come so you have need to be trained to understand false and true formally uh, professor choudhry moving forward to whatever uh, n- developments are happening in the media industry if we talk about that one important uh, aspect i would like to draw your attention to is the mojo that's a mobile journalism and uh, there are many organizations many channels so uh, which are moving towards uh, mobile journalism or mojo can you tell us something more on yes before going there i would like to get one or two feedback also or one or two you know voices from the, our audience so one is we talked about mal sorry miss this and mal information fake we also talked about uh, how 360 degree is becoming 720 degree how social media is becoming a part of journalism these two points we have talked i would like to ask what then is the future of journalism where is now i have already told that newspapers are on decline 
as far as revenue and as far as number of pages and number of employees. All the three are on decline. Television is neither growing fast nor very much declining, somewhere in the middle. But the craze of making more and more television channels and all, except for political reasons, the craze has gone away. People have, all investors have come to know that this is not an easy game. It's a white elephant. So, there is a growth in television or mo mobile journalism. But television also is uh, uh, connecting with um, uh, digital. So, there is a joint growth of television and digital together. Now, in this given scenario, what do you think are the skill sets required for being a news media person? I said there are three types of media, news media, entertainment media, brand media. So, we are talking of news media, Sarah has only talked about in the context of uh, news media. Just any one voice, the mic is there I suppose, any one voice, what is your perspective about future journalism and careers in journalism? One or two, three sentences, just tell your name and just give. And do not worry about right, wrong, just what do you think is the first perspective, anyone? Yeah, Priya, Priya, you can. Yeah, you can begin. सर uh, I think uh, जो भी journalism की बात हुई तो सबसे पहले तो एक चीज़ है जो uh, पहले जो था अगर कोई anchoring कर रहा है तो शायद उसे सिर्फ anchoring की skills होना सबसे ज़्यादा ज़रूरी थी लेकिन जब हम mobile journalism की बात करते हैं तो हमारे पास वो technical skills जो होती हैं चाहे फिर वो editing हो चाहे फिर वो uh, mobile को लेकर shoot करना हो चाहे फिर वो anchoring हो चाहे फिर information लेके आना हो वो सारा जो skill है वो हमारे पास ही होना चाहिए हम तभी उसमें आगे काम कर सकते हैं so our point is multi skilling is must in journalism of tomorrow done next Anyone else? Koi bhi hath is taraf se bhi hath uthai. The gentleman behind, any of the two gentlemen behind, you can take the take the mic and speak. Sir, I think since the digital transition is increasing day by day, so I think print is going to be bit in decline. That's okay. what I think. So his observation is print is on decline and uh, digital media is in rise. Fine. Any other observation from anyone? Okay. Uh, yes, the lady there. After that, I will try to uh, uh, answer to sir's question. Hello sir, my name is Shiksha and uh, my observation is that uh, news at this time have to be short and crisp and uh, like right. that is a time of in short. Right. Mobile, short and crisp, no print or less print. These are the observations. All of these are right and there can be more, but all of these are right. The journalism of tomorrow is on the go. That means, it has to be short. Journalism of tomorrow is more visual, so therefore, cannot be only textual, there has to be pictures or video in a big way. Journalism of tomorrow has to be from the ground, so this moralizing studio discussions has a limited life. The real journalism is on the ground and therefore, uh, Barkhadat for 120 days immediately after the declaration of uh, lockdown, lockdown was de declared on 24th March 2020, from 25th March next 120 days she was in the field and each day one story she brought through the channel called Mozo channel you can check out it's the short form of mobile journalism she consciously took a generic name so that people don't forget so that's a very intelligent way of doing it thanda matlab coca cola mobile journalism matlab barkha ka mozo channel it's like that so uh, they uh, they've taken a generic name so please uh, uh, look out for some of the stories there 120 stories may. So, that is one going to be, but the challenge there at the moment is the revenue model is not still not clear. The revenue model is coming up, but in the meantime, lot of popular television or uh, popular online YouTube channels or news portals have come up. So, the scroll is doing well, the where is doing pretty well, the first post is another perspective, but it is doing pretty well, firstpost.com. There is a from a workers and farmers perspective newsclick.in. So, uh, uh, from a upper uh, urban youth perspective newslaundry.com. So, they have already come up. They have already come up and they are pretty doing pretty well. And every newspaper and news channel has also gone online. Everyone has their strong social media and all. So, in that point from that point of view it is clear you have to be multi skilled. Mobile first multi skilled. So, mobile because mobile is easy, portable, very easily you can take, the entry barriers are low, the investment is not even 1 lakh, if you really want to set up your mobile journalism setup, it is not even 1 lakh, but within 1 lakh you can do a good mobile, a uh, sound thing and editing, editing one. and there are free apps also for editing and there are paid apps also. So, uh, mobile journalism setup 
with an investment of 1 lakh rupees, someone can become independent journalist. So, there is a concept called solopreneur. Solopreneur is not just about journalism, it also would come in the context of uh, m advertising, power, marketing and also in the context of entertainment. Solopreneur means what? Solo means alone, entrepreneur means you are on your own. So, combine the two, solopreneur. So, you are a photographer, you have your own studio, you invested 3 lakhs to make the studio. Now, you go around the world showing this is my portfolio of photography, give me work. That work could be wedding photography to news photography. That could be jungle ka photography to architecture ka photography. That could be a commercial photography uh, like a uh, factory or it could be hotel ke liye food photography. Could be anything depending on your expertise. So, you become a solopreneur. So, you start with this 5000, 10000 dollar assignments, very soon it becomes 40,000, 50,000 assignments per day. And you will not have work for 30 days, you will only have work, have work for 3 days or 4 days, but the work is good enough to survive you for a long time. So, that would be also mobile journalism ka career. So, I am getting, I am suppose I am based out of Sundarban, suppose Sundarban is a jungle area, we will come. Sundarban is a jungle area. Now, there, there are many powerful visual stories, human interest stories, animal stories, so lot of things are there, environmental stories, erosion stories, uh, flood stories, lot of stories are there. Now, same newspaper will not carry all. So, I developed relationship with 10 newspapers or 10 portals and say I will be sending you these stories. So, there are two ways, I send you a story 5000 rupees per story with photograph 7000 rupees per story or I send, I have a a retainership with you, every month I send you minimum 4 stories, you give me 25,000 and I can have this retainership with 5 other people and I will not send the same story to more than one place. This is another very common at the district level, this is the commonest journalism, either retainer or solopreneur. So, this solopreneur, photography, actor, music writer, even journalist and surely MCs and even managers, they are all solopreneurs. Over to you, sir. Hello, sir. Myself, Abhishek. And my question, sir, is that, as you have told me, camera person's skills are more on field, more developed. But, sir, during the pandemic, as an anchor, he is shooting in his own little camera and is practicing his own practice. But when he is a camera person, he has to go on field, so his skills are more on field. It will be a challenge. That when there was a lockdown, it was a challenge. No Chee. doubt about that. Yeah. Several things could not be done when, when it was lockdown. But, First of all, lockdown is an unusual situation. Unusual situation sometime or the other will end. So, and it ended and there could be uh, limited lockdowns at, in times to come. So, and by the way, the journalists with uh, bona fide journalists with press card and all could move. The journalists were allowed to move. They were considered as frontline workers. Having said that, my only point is that tomorrow's mobile journalist taking cue from her, tomorrow's mobile journalist has to be multimedia. Researcher, writer, वो भी एक है, photo, camera person, वो भी एक है, editor, sound तो record ही जाएगा, editor of sound and of video both, वो भी एक है, final packaging and marketer, knowing where to send it. If you are working for one organisation, you send, keep sending there, they keep sending you salary. But if you are solopreneur, working with five, you are sending to five, keeping them happy and talking to another five, another five, because nobody's condition is stopping you from working for another five. So that skill set you have to start from here. Are you a writer and happy with that? Limited function. Are you a reporter happy with that? Reporter means reporter and coming and writing. Limited function. Are you a reporter who also can shoot, shoot from mobile, shoot from camera? You are, you are valuable. Are you a reporter who can shoot and then come back and edit? Edit on the laptop with uh, a limited resource or edit in a edit bay the way you have in studios. So, you are much more useful and are you a reporter who can write well, research well, write well, shoot, edit and also place it before media. You have a checklist of 40 media who can take your services. You are fabulous. You are just fabulous and you are your own master. We have a friend of us who is one, uh, who is a uh, working committee member of, uh, of Global Media Education Council, Dr. Tabina Qureshi. She was full timer in Outlook, then full timer in Deccan Herald. Then full timer in uh, another newspaper I forgot, and then she Kashmiri lady staying in Jaipur. Now she has decided, हमें full time काम करना ही नहीं है. So same newspapers she has tied up with retainership. She has special story for Outlook which is for weekly, and a daily story for Deccan Herald, 
daily story for one more and then she is also because she is very good reporter and photographer she is also taking visual communication workshops for institutions together now she makes more money but together now she has more liberty more liberty because she is the boss there is no single boss she is reporting to but you are not if you are not fulfilling the requirements of your organizations when they ask then they won't use you that's also true so solopreneur has the risk of losing an assignment but an assignment there are 99 more that you can pursue but if you lose a job it's a loss then you have to find another job so i am not comparing there is value of being an employee and there is a value of being solopreneur but tomorrow's mobile journalist will be lot of them solopreneurs uh, one more thing i would request you professor chaudhary to talk about is uh, what kind of careers are there in advertising and public relations b that is area that you need to really really understand एडवर्टाइजिंग अर्लियर वॉज मेकिंग टेलीविजन का एक अच्छा कमर्शियल बड़ी खूबसूरत सी एक मॉडल होगी हमारा एक कैमरा होगा ये हमारा स्टोरी बोर्ड है शूट कर दिया किसी के पास चार करोड़ रुपया खर्चा करने के लिए टेलीविजन पर डाल दिया दिस इज गोइंग एवे दिस होल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एडवर्टाइजिंग इज गोइंग एवे ये नहीं होने वाला है क्या मैम आई मीन देर विल बी लक्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड जो लोग ये सब करेंगे लेकिन बहुत लिमिटेड हो जाएगा वो एक सेगमेंट होगा द एडवर्टाइजमेंट विल बी ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एल गिव एन एग्जाम्पल आप लोग किसी ना किसी अच्छे मिडिल क्लास एरिया से आते हो दिल्ली के एनसीआर के आसपास में देर विल बी ए न्यू रेस्टोरेंट विच हज कम अप दैट गाई विल टेल यू ओके मैम यू आर इन एडवर्टाइजिंग नो सो कैन यू थिंक आई हैव अ टेन लैक्स बजट ओवर द नेक्स्ट थ्री मंथ्स कैन यू थिंक ऑफ अ कैंपेन आई हैव नाउ फिफ्टी फुटफॉल अ डे आई वॉन्ट टू डबल माई फुटफॉल टू हंड्रेड अ डे हंड्रेड कस्टमर्स अ डे I have now 200 people coming in my or 500 people coming in my social media. I want to bring it to 3,000, and I give you 10 lakhs. Give me a solution. This is the type of work you will get. अगर आप बैठे हो कि आप कॉलेज से निकलोगे ओगिलवियर मेथर से उतर के प्रसून जोशी आपके लिए वो तो यूरो आर एस सी जी ओगिलवियर मेथर प्रसून पांडे पीयूष पांडे आपके लिए रेड कारपेट बिछा देगा और मैडम आराम से वहाँ चलती चलती जाएंगी और जाके कॉर्नर केबिन मिल जाएगा वहाँ बैठ जाएंगी और मंथ के एंड में तीन लाख का पे पैक आएगा नहीं होने वाला है द न्यू एज ब्रांड कम्युनिकेशन इज अबाउट ब्रांडिंग एनी एंड एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉरपोरेट और अदरवाइज स्मॉल और बिग इन ए इन ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड लार्जली डिजिटल क्योंकि उसमें जैसे आप टेलीविजन में जाओगे दस लाख थे एक दिन में खत्म हो जाएगा जैसे अखबार में जाओगे तीन दिन में खत्म हो जाएगा सो so, आपको सोचना होगा सोशल मीडिया एंड यू डोंट नीड ए न्यूज पेपर फॉर द लोकल रेस्टोरेंट राइट what you need is good flyer in the locality good banners in the locality social media which is geo targeted geo targeted matlab agle 2 km tak ka target wo shop ko center mein rakh ke 2 km ka radius banao us radius mein kitne log aate hain shayad 2 lakh log aate hain bas what you start up to you have to start with those 2 lakhs now think of how to reach this 2 lakhs with 10 lakhs money in 3 months ab uske liye aapko kya milega uska 15% milega 1.5 lakh aapko milega और एट एट एंड हाफ लैक्स आप खर्चा करोगे दैट इज द नॉर्मल सो एडवर्टाइजिंग ऑफ टुमारो इज स्मॉल मीडियम लार्ज एडवर्टाइजिंग ऑफ टुमारो इज डिजिटल फर्स्ट एंड देन अदर्स एडवर्टाइजिंग ऑफ टुमारो इज नॉट जस्ट एडवर्टाइजिंग बट एडवर्टाइजिंग इवेंट मैनेजमेंट ब्रांड कम्युनिकेशन पी आर टूगेदर सो पीपल वॉन्ट सोल्यूशन मार्केटिंग सोल्यूशन दे डोंट वॉन्ट एडवर्टाइजिंग आप एडवर्टाइजिंग कर सकते हो मेरा काम हो जाए तो आप पी आर कर सकते हो मेरा काम हो जाए तो so if you are building a brand of a college good reputation advertising nahi karna hai usme events karna hai aur pr karna hai lekin admission karana hai to usme advertising aayega social media aayega so purpose ke hisab se tool badlega now this is intelligent work ha huh? this is exam ka pass karna nahi hai yaad karke exam mein likh ke pass karna wala mamla nahi hai this is intelligent work you have to understand this target uh, this person has this money and this purpose वो मनी के अंदर उस पर्पज को फुलफिल करने के लिए व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन डू आई हैव टू डू एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी दैट यू आर डूइंग लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल वर्क इन द कॉलेज ऑलरेडी द मोर यू डू मार्केट सर्वे आप लोगों ने मेरे से कुछ लोग अभी अभी एक मार्केट सर्वे किया रिक्शा पुलर्स का आई थिंक वेरी गुड दैट्स रियल टाइप ऑफ वर्क यूल गेट इन फ्यूचर एजेंसीज वर्क मार्केट रिसर्च डिजिटल कैंपेन पंद्रह सेकेंड में आप देखते होंगे इन यूट्यूब वीडियोज दर इज फिफ्टीन सेकेंड एड वो 15 सेकंड काट नहीं सकते हैं देन द वीडियो स्टार्ट्स एंड देन देर आर थ्री मिनट स्टोरीज व्हिच आर कॉल्ड एक्ट ए सी टी एक्ट्स उसमें पाँच या सात सेकंड के बाद स्किप वीडियो बोल सकते स्किप एड बोल सकते हैं 
सो यू विल बी आस्ट टू मेक दिस पंद्रह सेकेंड बनाइए एक ही कहानी उसका तीन मिनट भी बनाइए तीन मिनट इतना अच्छा बनाइए कि आफ्टर द फर्स्ट फाइव सेकेंड द पर्सन यू नो प्रोमटेड टू सी द होल वीडियो दिस विल बी द चैलेंज ऑफ चैलेंजेस ऑफ टुमारो प्रोफेसर चौधरी अलॉन्ग विद दिस पी आर एंड एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड द ब्रांडिंग एंड ऑल दैट यू टॉक्ड अबाउट वन मोर एरिया एंड मैनी स्टूडेंट्स आर इंटरेस्टेड इन विच एंड दैट इज इवेंट एंड इवेंट इज वन सच एरिया विच गॉट द मेजर सेट बैक ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड पीरियड and but then there are a student who want to make a career in event only so what will you tell these people uh, regarding the events uh, I, i do agree event had the biggest hit within media event had the biggest hit during in fact digital actually increased but events is the only one which declined uh, now before i answer this what is event management of tomorrow what's the what scenario of or careers of event management tomorrow anyone just make an attempt anyone just make an attempt anyone would like to yeah with kam aur raha online honge cheez hai right because ab ye ho gaya hai ki agar ek ek uh, person delhi india mein na ho ke uk mein hai to bhi humse connect ho sakta hai aaram se ye cheez kafi achhi hui hai hamara jo area hai wo badh chuka hai right. is tarike se Good. so according to her actually the uh, covid has given a scope to expand the impact of events right she is right but it must go beyond so she is right i'll give another example my concrete example so arijit singh night was not possible anymore concerts were not there physical concert so arijit singh and google hangout uh, came out together 1 lakh people in an advanced form of google hangout joined each one giving 500 rupees wahi show agar aap physically dekhte to 3000 rupees dete 2000 rupees ticket hota 500 rupees mein because you could not enter unless that was given now you could do this that you entered But because you got that uh, ticket, e-ticket by that code number you entered, but there are ten people with you watching it. Yeah, हो सकता है events में. So uh, Arijit officially sold more. I mean, Google Hangout and Arijit together officially sold more than ninety thousand tickets into five hundred rupees. कर लो पांच करोड़ के नजदीक. And actually had a Google Hangout um, uh, concert during the pandemic. Then there were twenty-four singers who came out with a musical marathon. सारा दिन से ऑनलाइन में सब अपने अपने घर से गाना गा रहे हैं अपनी ही मशीनरी के साथ हाई फाई नहीं मतलब जो उनके पास है सो दे वर डूइंग दैट नाउ दैट वाज वन सोल्यूशन एंड आई विल गिव अनदर वेरी गुड एग्जाम सी पी एच डॉक्स दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म फेस्टिवल सी पी एच डॉक्स हैपन्स इन जर्मनी तो एवरी ईयर इट हेज टू हैपन फिजिकली पीपल इज टू ट्रैवल टू जर्मनी बिकॉज दैट वॉज लाइक अ यूरोपियन हॉलीडे एंड स्टे देर फॉर सेवन डेज जो अपना फिल्म लेके जा रहे हैं वो भी जा रहे हैं जो जस्ट लिखने जा रहे हैं वो भी जा रहे हैं जो देखने जा रहे हैं वो भी जा रहे हैं एंड पीपल इस एंट्री फी वॉज थर्टी और फोर्टी डॉलर्स फॉर द होल सीजन सात दिन का है तो सात दिन का फोर्टी डॉलर सो दैट वॉज एक्स अमाउंट ऑफ पीपल कमिंग एंड वाई अमाउंट ऑफ मनी हैपनिंग वट हैपन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी वन इट वेंट ऑनलाइन सो अब एक्स अमाउंट ऑफ पीपल जिनको जाना पड़ता था वो दस होते थे अब ऑनलाइन में वो सौ हो गए तो उन्होंने पैंतीस डॉलर चार्ज करते थे तो उसको पाँच डॉलर में उतार दिया तो उन्होंने देखा 32% परसेंट ऑफ एक्चुअली फर्स्ट ईयर में ही थर्टी टू परसेंट ऑडियंस बढ़ा एटीन परसेंट पैसे बढ़े इन स्पाइट ऑफ द मनी टिकट गोइंग डाउन द मनी इंक्रीज बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ पीपल इंक्रीज नाउ दीज वर सोल्यूशन ऑफ लॉकडाउन पीरियड अब तो लॉकडाउन गया नाउ वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन नाउ द सोल्यूशन इज दैट आई विल हैव हंड्रेड पीपल इन फ्रंट एंड आई विल हैव टू थाउजेंड पीपल बाइंग टिकट्स ऑनलाइन अगर मुझे फ्री दिखाना है लाइक अ नॉलेज इवेंट then I can just stream it online. हम लोग करते हैं जी मेक में भी हम लोग करते हैं कई जगह में करते हैं आप भी कई होंगे बहुत सारे इवेंट्स ऑनलाइन में फ्री स्ट्रीमिंग कर दिए यूट्यूब में या फेसबुक में बट अब तो एडवांस स्ट्रीमिंग भी और आ रहे हैं बहुत सारे प्लेटफॉर्म अब क्या है कि हम ऑनलाइन में दिखा रहे हैं लेकिन फिजिकली इवेंट हो रहा है सो रिसेंटली सी आई आई ऑर्गेनाइज एजुकेशन कॉन्क्लेव एंड देवर ऑर्गेनाइज इट इन पार्क होटल ऑफ कैलकाटा विज ए वेल नोन होटल एंड देवर फोर हंड्रेड एजुकेशनिस्ट of eastern india present physically but more than 6000 were watching it from various parts of the world country and the world now that's the next thing e events which is a hybrid event which is a blended event so joydas uh, veerdas sorry veerdas is giving a comedy show there are 150 people in front who have bought each ticket for 1000 rupees and there are 2000 people who have bought tickets only for 50 rupees or 100 rupees and that is e ticket 
एंड दे आर वॉचिंग इट ऑनलाइन कॉमेडी तो कॉमेडी है आप यहाँ खड़े होकर कॉमेडी करो मैं स्क्रीन में आपको देखूँ कॉमेडी सुन मोरल एक ही है बस एक साथ में बैठने का एक्साइटमेंट अलग है स्पोर्ट्स वोर्ट्स में जो होता है बुंदेस लीग ऑफ गेम हुआ था जर्मनी का जो बुंदेस लीग ऑफ फुटबॉल पीपल वर प्लेइंग ऑन ग्राउंड हाथ में ग्लव्स था मुंह पे मास्क था खेल रहे हैं ऑडियंस कोई नहीं था गैलरी में सारा ऑडियंस ऑनलाइन में था दैट वॉज देयर अब तो आई भी होने लगा है चेयर लीडर कम हो गए थोड़े दूर दूर बैठने पड़ रहे हैं वो अलग बात है बट आई भी चलने लगा सो द पॉइंट वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इवन मैनेजमेंट हैज़ नॉट गॉन इट हेज टेकन ए न्यू अवतार इट्स अ ब्लेंडेड इवेंट्स हाइब्रिड इवेंट्स फिजिकल इवेंट्स फिजिकल प्लस डिजिटल सो दैट एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड टू नाउ नो सो वेन यू आर सेलिंग अर्लियर आप क्या बोलते थे थ्रू माई सोशल मीडिया आई विल हैव अ कैंपेन ऑफ फाइव लैक्स पीपल एंड देर विल फाइव हंड्रेड इन फ्रंट तो आप एडवर्टाइजर को स्पॉन्सर को यही बोलते थे आप क्या बोलोगे आई विल रीच फाइव लैक्स पीपल थ्रू सोशल मीडिया कैंपेन एंड देर विल भी फाइव हंड्रेड इन फ्रंट या थ्री हंड्रेड इन फ्रंट बट थ्री थाउजेंड विल हैव टिकट्स एंड वॉचिंग इट ऑल्सो अब वो बीच का वाला कैंपेन आ गया मतलब पॉपुलेशन आ गया प्रोफेसर चौधरी वन मोर एरिया इज देयर वेयर इन मैनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव ऑलवेज बीन इंटरेस्टेड एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड पीरियड दैट गॉट ए बूस्ट एंड दैट इज कंटेंट राइटिंग Uh, because uh, that is one area wherein uh, you need not to go anywhere and even if somebody is studying and can spare some time and has a knack for writing can do all kind of writings and can also earn money by that writing so can you uh, give some more insight into the whole this world of content writing i appreciate this is a very good question <coughs> there are two types of content writing one is a journalistic content one is the branded content जर्नलिस्टिक कॉन्टेंट फूड ब्लॉग किसने फूड पोर्टल बनाया तो यू आर राइटिंग फॉर देम टेक पोर्टल बनाया टेक्नोलॉजी का हेल्थ पोर्टल बनाया किसी ने डेवलपमेंट सेक्टर के ऊपर पोर्टल बनाया वीमेन के फोकस के सो यू आर राइटिंग फॉर देम किसने प्रोडक्ट्स के ऊपर बनाया है ना ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक आइटम्स का पोर्टल है यू आर राइटिंग फॉर देम आई थिंक एट योर एज यू आर ऑलरेडी गेटिंग सम सम लिंक और द अदर फॉर राइटिंग सच थिंग्स तो उसमें क्या बोलते हैं डोंट राइट लॉन्ग थिंग्स पाँच सौ वर्ड में लिखो तीन सौ वर्ड में लिखो लाइक दैट एंड देर इज ब्रांडेड कॉन्टेंट ए कंपनी सेज राइट ऑन फूड बट राइट इन सच ए मैनर दैट आवर रेस्टोरेंट इज मैंशन समवेयर समन इज सेंग राइट ऑन हेल्थ बट आवर हॉस्पिटल इज मैंशन एंड मैंशन इन ए पॉजिटिव एंड अ नाइस वे बट नॉट नॉट लाइक अ एडवर्टाइजमेंट शुड बी पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी सो दैट ब्रांडेड कॉन्टेंट सो दो तरह के राइटिंग ब्रांडेड कॉन्टेंट वीडियो भी हो सकते हैं ज़्यादातर वीडियो ही होते हैं लेकिन जो सर ने बोला वो कंटेंट राइटिंग की बात कर रहे हैं एंड ये पोर्टल्स के लिए बहुत हो रहा है सो दिस इज पॉसिबल फ्यू थिंग्स यू नीड टू नो वन यू कैन नॉट कॉपी वर्ब अटिम फ्रॉम एनी वन एल्स बिकॉज दोज हु यूज योर राइट अप्स दे हैव सॉफ्टवेयर टू ट्रैक फ्रॉम वेयर यू हैव कॉपीड आर्टिकल चेकर डॉट कॉम वॉज वेरी इजी बट देर आर म्यू एडवांस सॉफ्टवेयर आपने फुल सेंटेंस लिखा आपने दस वर्ड को कॉपी किया वो भी दिखाई देता है आर्टिकल चेकर में फुल पैराग्राफ लिखा तो दिखता है अब अब क्या है कि एक सेंटेंस में कंटिन्यूस पंद्रह वर्ड आपने कहीं से कॉपी किया वो भी दिख जाता है सो so, एक है इवन इफ यू राइट री राइट इन योर ओन लैंग्वेज इवन इफ यू आर टेकिंग पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम मेनी प्लेसेस विच यू विल टेक यू आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग द पॉइंट्स पॉइंट्स आर देयर इन द वर्ल्ड मे बी यू कैन डू अ फोन कॉल विद दैट पर्सन अबाउट होम यू आर राइटिंग और अबाउट दैट इशू सम एक्सपर्ट्स एंड देन कोट देम दैट्स द ओनली थिंग यू कैन डू न्यू दैट्स प्राइमरी डेटा द रेस्ट इज ऑल सेकेंडरी डेटा जो पब्लिश हो चुका है सो फॉर दैट You have to rewrite the content. ये पहला पॉइंट हुआ दूसरा पॉइंट यू हैव वाई द पोर्टल वॉन्ट्स दिज राइट अप्स दे वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज एस सी ओ एस एम एम यू अंडरस्टैंड एस सी ओ सर्च इंजिन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग दे वॉन्ट टू डू दैट फॉर एस सी ओ एस एम एम दे कैन ओनली डू वेन द कॉन्टेंट इज सर्च बाई अदर्स तो क्या करना है की वर्ड्स लिखना है ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा गूगल वर्ड्स की वर्ड्स चाहिए सो ये कॉन्सेप्ट आपको आपकी एक ट्रेनिंग होनी चाहिए यहाँ पर How do you write SEO friendly language? SEO friendly write up. Your training only should. Now, how do you believe on your writing? On your power of English, or on your power of Hindi? If you are Hindi writing, then so you believe in your power of the language. Now, you need you have to believe in the power of the SEO. Your article, ten keywords that people are looking for. Suppose I'll give an example. Whenever someone is searching pharmacy education, with what are the critical terms people are searching? pharmacy pharmaceutical immunology this sort of biotechnology uh, whatever the 
10 keywords they are searching, you have to first know the keywords and then use the keywords in your writing 4 or 5 times in a very interesting manner, not repeating the point. Now, that is a challenge, that is a challenge. Using the same keyword 3 or 4 times each without repeating the point or the sentence and none of these points and sentences should be copied from any portal. So, content writing is not that easy, it is not about knowing English, it is about writing original or rewriting in such a manner that is not uh, plagiarism, plagiarism. Second keywords using the keywords repeatedly, so that the SEO goes up. How to start? There is a clickbait heads, 10 ways that you can avoid falling sick. Now, if you write this 10 ways, if you can, people will read that. 5 ways to lose your weight, people will read that. So, that is very easy clickbait, 5 ways, 10 things, 4 things, uh, like that. So, 4 things you should watch out when you get married, people will read that, it is understood. But now, without using these numbers, how do you make interesting? That is a challenge. Now, content writing ka ek challenge hai. The title should be such, aur uske niche jo uh, ek one liner hota hai, that should be such, blurb, blurb should be such that your attention is stuck up there, Audi ready audience attention stuck up. These are the few things in uh, content writing, but content writing is a great possible job, a great possible career. Uh, so, we will move uh, towards the end of this program. Any of the students who want to ask some question or raise a point, then you are welcome. Yeah. We have not discussed television, we have not discussed uh, uh, cinema, you can ask that, we can, have not discussed radio, you can ask that, you, we have not discussed research, we have not discussed academic jobs in media, you can ask that. So, these are the things we have not discussed, but briefly you can ask, begin. Uh, hello sir, I am Ananya Verma and I wanted to ask that uh, since we were talking about multitasking in a particular job, do not you think it will uh, affect the professionalism of particular field, like if an anchor is an anchor has the ability of uh, handling the camera and editing it she will make uh, he or she will make some mistakes in uh, that field because she is not a per per uh, perfectionist and also it will uh, decrease uh, the employment number because when uh, for a particular job where, where two three people were required for particular field the no, one want. person is uh, doing that job uh, Thank it you. will automatically decrease the employment so these are conventional thoughts one it will decrease job and the second one the quality will fall down now the question of being multi skilled you are thinking in terms of a uh, ndtv or india today studio there it's not about multi skilling the news reader must be very good in anchoring or the cameraman must be very good in the camera work is understood but think of 600 districts of india into average of 5 blocks 3000 blocks of the country and there is one journalist on retainer or solopreneurship from 3000 blocks, blocks are there, under a district there are blocks. So, 3000 blocks, more than 3000 shayad blocks in Bharat mein. So, samjho teen ja rahe. Ab, you have to find 3000 solopreneurs from 3000 places, they have to be multi-skilled. They have to be multi-skilled because you cannot appoint a separate cameraman and a separate journalist, they have to be. Second, you are also thinking in terms of uh, uh, losing the jobs. Just now, it is studio based work, but with the coming in of Mozo and coming in of video on the uh, online digital video, there will be st stories from the ground. So, there is NDTV is one reporter, 10 reporters, one uh, news reader and few technicians doing suppose one day's work. This will automatically become 3000 blocks, 3000 reporters. So, the number of jobs will actually go more. The issue is our traditional thinking was that there has to be a separate cameraman, a separate reporter and a separate editor. The traditional thinking is breaking, because most channels like ETV already did this once upon a time. They had one district, one reporter and they said, we will only appoint those as reporters who can also be a cameraman. And then they said, you can even edit online, you know your stories. Gradually, we are moving towards that. There is 101reporters.com, uh, Gangadhar Patil is owning that. He has 6000 reporters in India, none of them is employed, 6000 stories. He has tied up with 50 newspapers, portals, channels, everything together in the world, 50 and says any part of India, any district, any event in 3 hours I will give you a story, in 3 hours I will give you a story. Means what? Suppose there is a big issue in Sundarban vi uh, village, some uh, uh, 
I mean, people have been hurt by uh, tigers and someone has killed the tiger, something like this, some story is there. Some remote environmental paper wants that story. He can put, now he has to send from Delhi, from Bombay, it will be 5 days. He has to call within 50 or 100 kilometers someone who is contact and he does that. 6000 reporters. So, that is the future. The future is not 50 people or 100 people in NDTV studio, because then the jobs are not there. There will be 100 people there, but they are far senior to you. They are already there. You will have to start somewhere. So, do not think if you are in Amritsar, you do not get a journalism job, you will get. You will get. Oh, I am married to married in Malir Kotla. That is out of the blue, yaar. Pakistan ka border hai. Waha se kya job milega? The future is good. If you are a mozo, if you are a multi skill mozo and you are married to a family in Malir Kotla and you want to remain in journalism, you can still be. You can still be. That is a big difference that is happening. Actually, we are not thinking on those lines because our traditional thinking has been studio based work, 15, 20, 100 people, it's traditional. Tha. Ab wo badale, badalega. Any, any other question? Yeah, any other question? Maybe yes. Uh, sir, जैसे अभी newness का time है, सबको कुछ ना कुछ नया चाहिए और बहुत जल्दी लोग bore भी हो जा रहे हैं हर चीज़ से। तो क्या news media में ये newness लाई जा सकती है और लाई जा सकती है तो कैसे? जितना ज़्यादा आप field के story देंगे उतना new होगा। Problem हो जाता है, हम रोज घूम के तीन लोगों पे टिक जाते हैं, चार लोगों पे टिक जाते हैं। मोदी, अमित शाह, केजरीवाल, राहुल गांधी। बीच में अखिलेश आता है चला जाता है, so हम चार या पांच लोग में टिके हुए हैं क्योंकि स्टूडियो को फील्ड में जाना नहीं है, they don't want to spend, अल जजीरा के पास हर मिनट में स्टोरी नया कैसे आता है, अल जजीरा एक चैनल है, आप एक बुलेटिन और दूसरे बुलेटिन में कॉमन नहीं दिखते, एक भी स्टोरी कॉमन नहीं दिखते it will be on the war, but the story will be different. So, how are you saying? Because they are doing mozo, mobile journalism. Because there is a journalist on the field. Who is That is where the channels do not get the money from the, from the advertisers or the promoters. So, the more you seek stories from ground, the more newness or novelty will be there. And novelty is not social stories. There are youths doing fun activity and fashion shows in remote parts of India, right? Unki baat koi karta nahi hai. Lekin agar kisi channel ka mobile journalist pahunch gaya hai ki bhaiya Amritsar ki Miss Amritsar contest ko mein cover karungi. Aur wahan pe actually wo ladkiya kaun hai? Kaise koi ek dam hi garib family se bhi practice karke aake wahan kar human story bana hai? That will be hit. So, you will be wow yaar, auto driver ka ladka, ladki ab Miss Amritsar ban gai. That will be wow, wow factor for a moment. Thoda din viral ho jayega. Jai kacha badam viral ho gaya hai, banda kho gaya hai. Ab banda kho gaya hai, kacha badam, usko lag gaya hai, wo permanent hero ban gaya hai. Usne dukaan ukaan band kar diya, band kar ke ghar baiht gaya. Tien chare tien chal lakh rupiya kama aya, jin logo ne unka viral kiya, o music company se. Uske baad ab koi income nahi hai. Ab usko report mein likh raha hai, kahin bhi mene padha, aray mujhe to phir se badam bichna padega. The point is, wo ab Ranu Mandal aayi aur gai, so, the point is, newness hai na, abhi collabority yaad hai, yaad hai, kitna paaglon ki tarah koi matlab bhi nahi samaj raha, dekhaz Gujarati collabority, Bengali collabority, Sindhi collabority, Tamil collabority to thai, Malalam collabority, sab ho gaya, Punjabi collabority, sab ho gaya, do mahina chala, hawa ho gaya, kacha wadam hawa hone wala hai, so, baba ka dhawa aaya tha beech mein, ho bhi gaya, so, ye newness hai, aur ye newness kab hota hai? जब वो काचा बादाम को देखने वाला किसी ने मोबाइल से शूट किया था ना, that's इसी को फॉर्मली सोचो तो मोबाइल जर्नलिज्म है, ये तो ऐसे ही आउट ऑफ़ द ब्लू है, लेकिन फॉर्मली सोचो ट्रेंड वे में, I I strongly suggest every university in the country teaching media must have mobile journalism basic mobile journalism advance two papers, अभी तो एक पेपर भी नहीं है, must have media literacy and anti false content paper, false content कैसे थोड़ा जाए, must have must have how to be a solo premier. Akele kaise journalist ban sakte ho? Apne malik khud, lekin paisa kamana hai mahine ka do lakh. Kaise ban sakte ho? That how to monetize your digital asset. Abhi tum dancer ho socho. Tumne bana liya YouTube channel. 50 dancers dal diya. Apne baap ke paise se dala. Ek rupiya bhi nahi mila. Bohut dosto ke bol bol ke tumne usme 2000 subscriber kiya bas. 
अब इस 2000 सब्सक्राइबर वाले यूट्यूब को चैनल को इसको कहते हैं डिजिटल एसेट योर डिजिटल एसेट हाउ टू टर्न इट इनटू मोनेटाइजेशन इस पे कोर्सेज होने चाहिए मीडिया रेवेन्यूज पे कोर्सेज होने चाहिए चैनल कैसे कमाता है टेलीविजन कैसे कमाता है अखबार कैसे कमाता है दीज आर द न्यू थिंग्स गोइंग अहेड जो यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं आप तो एक यूनिवर्सिटी के अंडर आते हो उनके अंदर आप प्रपोज कर सकते हो सर यहाँ पे इंडिपेंडेंटली आपका वर्कशॉप करा सकते हैं आई एम श्योर इज डूइंग ऑल्सो सम ऑफ दिस लाइक फेक न्यूज एंड ऑल मस्ट हैव डन दैट सो वर्कशॉप बट आप क्या सोचते हो यार इसमें तो कोर्स यूनिवर्सिटी का परीक्षा तो है नहीं कोर्स तो है नहीं वाई टू तो, माथा खपाऊँ क्यों तो आप सोचते हो नंबर के लिए ना आप थोड़ी जिंदगी के लिए सोचते हो अगर इफ यू आर थिंकिंग फॉर लाइफ एंड स्किल्स देन यू विल टेक इनिशिएटिव टू लर्न इट बेटर इवन बेटर देन योर रेगुलर कोर्स रेगुलर कोर्स नंबर ही देते हैं ये सब कोर्स करियर देगा पैसा देगा सो दैट द पॉइंट टूमोरोज जर्नलिस्ट टूमोरोज एंटरटेनर्स एंटरटेनमेंट प्रोफेशनल्स और एडवर्टाइजिंग प्रोफेशनल्स नीड टू नो दीज स्किल्स गीग इकोनॉमी किसको बोलते हैं गीग इकोनॉमी मैं किसी का एम्प्लॉय नहीं हूँ कई लोगों के लिए काम कर रहा हूँ गीग इकोनॉमी वो इकोनॉमी को गीग इकोनॉमी बोलते हैं और मुझे बोलते हैं सोलो प्रेनियर मतलब कोई ऐसा करे तो सोलो प्रेनियर फिर मीडिया रेवेन्यूज फिर डिजिटल एसेट्स मोनिटाइजेशन फिर ऑडियंस मेजरमेंट ऑडियंस मेजरमेंट एंड ऑडियंस एनहांसमेंट कोई भी मीडिया पैसा कैसे कमाता है ऑडियंस के बेस पे अगर यूट्यूब चैनल इसका 2000 सब्सक्राइब की जगह में अगर एक लाख सब्सक्राइबर हो जाए उसको ढूंढना नहीं पैसा पड़ेगा उसके पास आएंगे मेरा एक स्टूडेंट है रीनीता दत्तो और रीनीता दत्तो एक फैशन का पोर्टल ऐसी ब्लॉग चलाती थी शौक से स्टूडेंट लाइफ में शौक से ब्लॉग बनाते आप में से कुछ लोगों का ब्लॉग होगा शायद है हाथ रहो कितने लोगों का ब्लॉग है रेगुलर गुड गुड थोड़ा सुनते हैं उस पर एक मिनट लेकिन आ, वो ब्लॉग चलाती थी अब ब्लॉग चलाती चला तो उसका काफ़ी ज़्यादा पॉपुलर हो गया उसका स्टाइल था अलग लिखने का लोगों ने बताया फोटोग्राफ डालो यार फैशन पे करते हो फोटोग्राफ नहीं है तो एकदम फोटोग्राफ देने लगा और थोड़ा बड़ा फिर लोगों ने बोला यार वीडियो क्यों नहीं है जहाँ पर गई वो किसी आपने हाथ से एक ब्लॉग बनाओ वो दिखाओ शो दिखाओ जो भी है फिर खुद अपने कैमरा अपने तरफ मुँह करके सेल्फी वीडियो जैसा बोलो इसको थोड़ा सा एडिट करो फिर वो करने लगी तो ये करते करते पंद्रह बीस हज़ार उसका सब्सक्राइबर हो गया एंड देन सर्टन फैशन शोज एंड फैशन ब्लॉग्स कंपनीज स्टार्टेड कॉन्टेक्टिंग हर कि आप हमारे बारे में हमारा प्रोग्राम कवर कीजिए हम आपको पाँच हज़ार रुपया देंगे उसका जर्नी स्टूडेंट लाइफ में इस तरह शुरू हुआ टूडे शी इज़ डूइंग इट फुल टाइम दो डेढ़ से लेकर ढाई के बीच में इनकम करती है महीने का फुल टाइम कर रही है इट्स अ वेल नोन फैशन ब्लॉग ना द पॉइंट इज बट यू नीड टू नो दैट इस उसने बहुत मेहनत किया है उसको कोई सिखाया नहीं था ऑनलाइन से सिखाए कैसे मोनेटाइज करना है तो वो भी वर्कशॉप करना है मोनेटाइज मैं दिल अभी अभी ढाका में एक मोनेटाइजेशन पे किया है एक जन जो ऑलरेडी सक्सेसफुल इस तरह के हैं उनका केस स्टडी लाके के रफसान सवाब बोल के एक जन है इन्फ्लुएंसर ही इज मेकिंग बिटवीन टू एंड फोर लैक्स अ मंथ ही गेव अ फुल वर्कशॉप हाउ ही स्टार्टेड वॉट ई लॉस्ट टाइम एनर्जी मनी एंड वेयर इज ए कम एंड द प्रोसेस पूरा उसने बताया यू नीड टू नो दैट दैट इज गिग इकोनॉमी एंड सोलो प्रशिप एंड मोनिटाइजेशन ऑफ योर स्किल यू गॉट द पॉइंट चलो आप थोड़ा बता दो दो मिनट आपका ब्लॉग क्या सब्जेक्ट पे है कितने अभी तक डाले हो कितने व्यूअर्स हुए हैं क्या क्या करते हो उसको पॉपुलर करने के लिए हेलो सर मेरा नाम निखिल गुप्ता है सर uh, पहले तो मैंने यूट्यूब चैनल लॉकडाउन में स्टार्ट किया था क्योंकि घर पे थे तो उसको पोइट्री चैनल के बेसिस पे स्टार्ट किया फिर uh, उसी से एडिटिंग सीखी एडिटिंग स्किल स्ट्रॉग हुई धीरे धीरे चीज़ों के बारे में जैसे बर्थडे आया तो बर्थडे ब्लॉग क्रिएट करते छोटे छोटे क्लिप्स के बारे में लोगों को अच्छा लगा पोल क्रिएट किया उनसे पूछा क्या करूँ तो उन्होंने बोला कि वीडियोज़ डालो कंटिन्यू देन फिर मैं अभी जहाँ भी जाता हूँ जो भी नई नई चीज़ें जैसे कॉलेज आए कॉलेज का नया ब्लॉग कॉलेज में कोई इवेंट हुआ वो चीज़ें तो इस तरीके से कवर करता हूँ अभी तो आप शौक से करते हो हाँ जी अगर आपको इसको मोनिटाइज करना है इसका, इसका जवाब लंबा है और सारी चीज़ मुझे मालूम भी नहीं है एक स्पेसिफिक ऑडियंस और स्पेसिफिक कंटेंट स्टाइल ये होना जरूरी है हाँ एनी थिंग एंड एवरी फॉर एनी वन एंड एवरी वन विल बी अ नाइस प्लेटफॉर्म बट नॉट दैट इज़ फेसबुक विल उस तरह का है मतलब नाइस प्लेटफॉर्म बट दैट विल नॉट गिव यू मनी सो फेसबुक में पोस्ट करने वाले को पैसे नहीं मिलते फेसबुक को पैसा मिलता है चूँकि करोड़ों लोग उसमें हैं If Facebook is a country, all people on Facebook are a country. It will be third largest country of the world after China and India. Facebook would be the third largest country. So the point uh, uh, monetization का एक बड़ा theory है. Audience must be specific, content must be of a particular type, and then you go deeper into it. चलिए इतने रखते हैं. So we move 
uh, towards the closer. I think uh, most of the things are covered, though it's never possible that everything <laughs> is covered. So we should always leave a scope for the next lecture of Professor Chaudhary, so that whatever is not covered in this session, whenever he will be coming again to Delhi, we will take up all those issues, all those aspects again. So thank you very much, uh, Professor Ujjal Chaudhary, for being with us today talking to our students and enlightening them on so many diverse aspects of today's media and the kind of careers which, is, which are available to our students. Thank you.